ring retraction proceeding as expected, getting views from one of the cameras on the Japanese exposed facility on the forward end of the space station, seeing the starboard side of the Dragon. As we continue to uh, monitor the progress of this ring retraction, now getting some sun illuminating the nadir or earth-facing side, and now the whole thing of Dragon Freedom. Sun is rising over the uh, South Pacific Ocean as Dragon and International Space Station continue to fly on a southeastern trajectory. Coming together first through the hatches, Marcus Wandt and Alper Gezerauchi of Sweden and Turkey, respectively, being greeted by the crew of Expedition 70. The two are followed by Walter Villade, pilot of the Dragon Freedom. Last coming into the International Space Station, Commander Michael Lopez Alegria. Eleven crew members representing seven nations now on board the International Space Station. <laughs> on, beha on behalf of the uh, Expedition 70 crew, I'd like to welcome uh, Axiom 3 on board the International Space Station. This is uh, an incredibly exciting time for human spaceflight with the third private mission, which is allowing many more countries to participate in the scientific research and technology development that we do on board this orbiting laboratory. Uh, we have doubled the number of nationalities on board the space station, going from four to eight, which I think is a great testament to the international collaboration, which underpins this uh, marvelous space station. I'm also very proud as a European to welcome four other Europeans. I think this is the first time in the history of the space station that we have five Europeans on board uh, at the same time. And certainly uh, it's the first time that we have two Scandinavians uh, on board. So I'm very happy to welcome my, f my fellow Scandinavian, Marcus. Um, but we look forward to the next two weeks uh, to an intense period of work on board the space station. So a big warm welcome to Axiom 3 uh, from us on board the space station. Thanks, Andy. I think you said it very well. This is really a, um, a symbol of how Axiom in conjunction with NASA and all the partners is working to expand human access to low Earth orbit. And we've got, uh, as Andy said, so many nationalities represented on board, and this is really symbolic of what we're trying to do to open it up, not only to other nations, also to individuals, to researchers, to continue the great work that's been going on on board the ISS for the last two decades plus. The ride uphill was uh, pretty exciting. Uh, never gets old. Um, I think we probably spent a few more hours in Dragon than we felt like we needed to, but uh, it was all good. Great vehicle. Thanks to you at SpaceX for putting that thing together for us and for such smooth operation. Let me pass the microphone down to my crewmates just for a couple words, and then I'd like to get it back at the very end, if that's okay. Walter? Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I want to, first of all, uh, thanks to the expedition crew for this uh, warm uh, welcoming. It's uh, amazing to be up here and to see how much really all the countries and these uh, amazing uh, international collaboration has made in space, uh, creating this outpost. And I'm very grateful uh, for Italy and uh, just a few words in Italian. So thank you, grazie e un uh, grazie a tutta l'Italia. Vorrei ringraziare non solo l'aeronautica militare ma anche tutte le istituzioni che hanno portato qui questa missione in questo straordinario contesto di collaborazione internazionale in cui abbiamo portato scienza e per due settimane saremo qui a collaborare e lavorare con questo equipaggio internazionale straordinario. Grazie mille. And now I hand over to my colleagues and friend uh, Alper from Turkey. Thank you so much.
Uh, I would like to thank first for your kind hospitality to Expedition 7 crew over here. Uh, they were wa waiting for us at the door, actually. So that was a very nice, <laughs> kind welcoming for us. Um, I would like to thank for everybody for their great effort uh, for us to be able to make it over here in the last eight months training period, as well as all the counterparts. Uh, for their contribution for our safe travel uh, to make it over to ISS. We are happy as Turkey uh, to step for the first time in our history and um, looking forward to contribute into the science and research uh, efforts over here. And I would like to say a couple words uh, to my country. Turkey Cumhuriyeti'ni kurarak bizlere emanet eden Gazi Mustafa Kemal Atatürk ve silah arkadaşlarına bu vatan için canını veren tüm şehitlerimize e, buraya adım atmamızı sağlayan güçlü iradesiyle devletimize ve bu imkanları bize sağlayan milletimize şükranlarımı sunuyorum. İstikbal göklerdedir. Now I would like to pass over the microphone to my dear friend Marcus Wand from uh, Sweden representing here ISA. Thank you Alper. I also want to say first a big uh, thank you to Expedition 70 for gre greeting us and knocking on our door uh, in the middle of uh, everything. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. Been flying around and orbiting Earth for 36 hours or so, and then someone knocks on the door. That's pretty strange. <laughs> and uh, uh, also, uh, I want to say that having the, this many, many nationalities uh, on a mission like this, and it just tells me that uh, collaboration can take you very far entering uh, the hatch here and meeting other people in space from so many different cultures and places around the world just uh, give me a strong sense of future uh, which is which is awesome i uh, also want to say a few words in uh, in swedish to uh, sweden so hey allihopa där hemma det här är förstås en fantastisk känsla uppskjutningen var en resa aldrig varit med något liknande förut och Sen att få se jorden från ovan och sväva runt och känna att Sverige på ett så kraftfullt och beslutsamt sätt valde att ställa sig långt fram i utvecklingen igen, vilket vi ofta gör och fortsätter vara ett innovationsland och visa andra att gott samarbete fungerar. För vi har också här pionjerat det nya sättet för Europa att ta sig upp och öka frekvensen i rymdutforskningen på ett sätt som, som vi inte har sett förut. Så otroligt stolt att få representera Sverige och Europa här uppe. All right, thank you. Mike. Okay. So now I'd like to uh, continue a bit of a tradition that we started, and that is to award the Universal Astronaut Symbol pin, if I don't lose it, to each of these um, steely-eyed aviators. Uh, I think it's telling that these will be the seventh, eighth, and ninth people that uh, Axiom has provided pins. In fact, since we started flying in 2022, no agency has pinned more new astronauts, and again, this is symbolic of us trying to open up the access to low Earth orbit to more and more people. So first of all, Colonel Walter Villade, it is my pleasure to, no, no, I'm going to put it on you. Oh, right. <laughs> You'll be number 609. Wow. That's a privilege, Mike. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can stabilize myself without messing. Guys can, uh, if you can slide down yeah. and have uh, these guys slide here. Right. Thank you. This is a real pleasure to award this pen to the first Turkish astronaut in history. I don't think I need to say anything more. Alper. Can you hold the mic? Yep. And finally, Marcus. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Mike. 
I failed to mention Alper obviously is uh, number 610 and Marcus is 611. And finally, I want to thank all of you guys again for welcoming us aboard. I know that it's tough uh, to have guests in your house, and we promise not to spill any red wine on your white carpet. <laughs> thank you, Andy.